Crisantia, uh, why did you decide to come to this event today? Well, um, I have been um, a permanent resident since 2005 and this is the time now I have a little bit of downtime from work and uh, it's the time for me to start working on my citizenship. And um, I knew that CUNY um, had those events because I remember I went to the website in my college, the College of Staten Island, a couple of years ago and I saw that they had this event. So I went to the website, the CUNY website, and I found information about this event and I decided to come. Could you tell us a little bit about your, your immigrant story? Um, how did you become a permanent resident? And a little bit about the hurdles or, or, or the struggles that you have had up to this point uh, or up to the point of becoming a permanent resident. Um, it would be good for, 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 for the community to know a little bit about the struggles that we all go through. Uh, so if you could share very, very briefly about that. Sure. Well, I came um, uh, a little rather late in life um, to the United States and actually I applied from my native country, Greece, um, to come to um, uh, school here and I wanted to study English and, and um, go back to Greece and teach English. And I figured that it would be a great opportunity to come here and and uh, practice the language in the native speaking environment. So um, so I applied from Greece and I got accepted um, here. So I came as an international student and um, I completed my bachelor's in about three and a half years. And then I went for my master's. And um, on the road to my master's, I met my husband here. So um, you know, life happens. <laughs> so. So, and, and that's how I decided to um, to stay in the country. And of course, I got um, I got used to the culture and um, the great opportunities that I found here. One of the things that I will never forget is that um, when I came here, I never expected that I would find a job teaching English in the United States because in in Greece, you can go and study uh, Greek if you are from another country. But um, it's not easy to find a job teaching Greek as a foreigner. So I was very, very pleasantly surprised when I was given the opportunity to put in practice what I was learning um, when I started working as a tutor at the College of Staten Island. It was a wonderful opportunity. And, um, and more opportunities um, came along and a lot of people helped me. Um, and um, so um, I've had a, a good a good life with my husband and also uh, many good professional opportunities with her help with a lot of people and um, and hard work, of course. But Now you are in the process of, of, of uh, applying for citizenship. Why would you, what was your first motivation, the number one motivation for you to want to become a, a citizen? You just mentioned one, your husband, and maybe, maybe there is more besides that. Um, if you could tell us a little bit about the first motivation, your husband, and then a little bit about other things or other reasons that you think people should become volunteers, I mean, sorry, uh, citizens. Well, um, of course, I've lived in the United States for the past uh, 15 years now, so it's, uh, it's, my, it's my country now, you know, it's, um, um, I, love, I love New York, I love um, the American culture, and um, and at this point, I'd like to vote too. <laughs> so I think my second motivation is um, the the ability to vote. I feel that uh, it's been a long time since I I didn't have the opportunity to um, have a say in what is going on in uh, in uh, you know. Uh, in the civics, so I think uh, it's about time, and of course, uh, you know, it's it's a proud moment. It's uh, I'm I'm very happy about it. Well, you just walked out of the event. Um, why didn't you tell us a little bit about actually how did you like the services, um, and and um, how did you find the volunteers, the staff, um, how would you qualify all this experience and the process that you just went through. Uh, things were very, very organized. I called, I had an appointment. Uh, my appointment was for one o'clock. Um, I started working with a, a volunteer at 1.05, which was tremendous. When I walked in and I saw all these people, I said, oh, 
I might have to stay here for a couple of hours, but it was amazing. I went right away and everybody was extremely helpful. Um, there were different, three different stations. So they want, they took you from the first steps, the second steps, the third steps. Um, they took the pictures. They, they, they even gave us the envelopes with all the, um, the addresses and everything. Everything is ready for me to put my check and, and send the materials um, when they need to go. So it was uh, it was very good. Everybody was very professional and very helpful. It was fantastic. So what's the first thing that you're going to do Monday morning with that envelope? Send it. <laughs> for sure. Yes. Send it. <laughs>